Okay, today we're looking at the mule palm, folks. Early April, first week of April, end of the first week of April. And, uh, well, looks like it survived. Uh, that frond got beat up. I did cut the beat up ones off of it, but you did see my earlier videos, what I did do with it. I put a plastic bag over it, and I did have some wrap around the trunk with no artificial heat. So, uh, it made it. I wouldn't say it's completely foolproof here. Maybe if I didn't cover it up, maybe it would be toast. There is another mule palm down there that lost its center spear. So I think by keeping it dry, yes, it increased its hardiness. So this is supposed to be uh, Cygris butea. Anyway, you can see the uh, it's opening up a frond there. And it should look pretty good, hopefully, in a couple of months. So stay tuned. Trachycarpus palms, not a problem. Trachycarpus palms grow like weeds. And uh, the needle palms and everything else are doing good. Um... But this one here, hey, it made it. So I planted that in February 2018, so it's been outside for over four years now. So stay tuned for more updates on this little pinnate species, all right? There's a camerops in there too, in among the weeds. They're tough as nails. We don't have to worry about those. And there's a bunch, there's other camerops back here too. That guy I think is toast. That is Brahia armada, totally toast. Jubea, fine. And everything else down here is fine. All the other palms, there's lots of palms down here. There's no shortage of palms. They're everywhere. But uh, this one here looks like it made it again. So that's a good thing. So we'll see if it makes it through another winter. Stay tuned, folks, for more updates on how this thing, uh, how this thing grows throughout the warmer months. Cheers.